Hey guys, in today's video, going to be focusing on the key first caucus state of Iowa for the 2020 Democratic primary, going over what the polls are currently saying and just doing a bit of a discussion on where we're at at this point in the process. But last night, I asked you guys if you had to bet money on it today, who do you think wins? Iowa and 21% of you out of 191 votes are saying Pete Buttigieg at 66% are putting their money behind Bernie Sanders, just 5% for Joe Biden and 7% for Elizabeth Warren. Now, if you're interested in participating in our community polls, I'll have a link to my Twitter account posted right at the top of the video description. Now to dive in to what the polls are currently saying from Real Clear Politics. And I love how they do this, where they show us the trend line over time. And as we can see right now, Buttigieg leading the pack at 23.5% in terms of the average of the recent polls that we've seen. And then we essentially have a three-way tie for second place with Warren, Sanders, and Biden all at around 17%. And then there's quite a gap between this upper tier group and the rest of the field. Now, through most of this process, we can see the green line was Joe Biden leading the way. But just recently, over the past couple of months, when Warren had a big tick up in her results in Iowa, that's when we started to see Biden fall off. And Warren had the lead there for the better part of the past two months. But now we see Warren's been trailing off as this purple line has been surging up. So that's coincided with Buttigieg now taking the lead. And then Bernie Sanders more or less has been pretty steady over the past handful of months. And more recently over the past couple of weeks, maybe showing a little bit more strength in Iowa, but nonetheless kind of hovering around that upper teens percentage point of support. Now, at this point in the process, we're still... Uh, more than a couple of months out from when people actually vote. So things can certainly change. Now, I was shocked that in the past debate that we just had a couple of days ago, Pete Buttigieg was handled with kid gloves. And the fact that he's surging in a very important state like Iowa, I thought that the other candidates on the stage were going to go after him. Now, another example that we've seen of something like this earlier on in the process when Kamala Harris made her big surge after a strong first debate performance in the second debate she was attacked specifically by Tulsi Gabbard in terms of her record as the attorney general in the state of California and ever since then Harris has sunken like a rock pretty much almost irrelevant at this point in time now because she started doing better in the polls you would expect on that second debate stage she was attacked and rightfully so in terms of her controversial re uh, record as the attorney general. Now, Pete Buttigieg, he was surging in the polls before we got to the fifth debate. So I thought almost certainly somebody was going to attack him. And specifically, Kamala Harris was set up perfectly to go after Buttigieg in terms of his controversy around trying to court African-American endorsements and doing it in a really shady way in the state of South Carolina. But another thing that he can be attacked on is his record as the mayor in South Bend in terms of the controversies surrounding his firing of the African-American police chief and the situation that you have going on there. But it just seems like the media as well as the candidates on the debate stage aren't ready to go after Pete Buttigieg for whatever reason, even though he's starting to become a serious threat. If he does really well in a state like Iowa, that can increase his national exposure and possibly propel him to have more success, not just in these early states, but the states after that where he's not polling all that well. Still at this point in time, it seems like a phenomenon right now with Buttigieg where his national numbers are relatively low still in the upper single digits, but in the early state of Iowa, and then to a little bit lesser of an extent, New Hampshire, but still doing quite well in the second uh, state that we're going to be going to. If he does really well in both of those states right out of the gate, it's a totally different race. And that's why I was just really stunned that we didn't see more attacks on Buttigieg in this uh, fifth debate. We'll see if that changes, if he's still leading in the polls in Iowa, for instance, as we go into the sixth debate. But I want to show you what the field was looking like at this same point in time back in the last Democratic primary season that we had. So this would have been in November of 2015, going into those 2016 primary and caucuses. So let's go back to November 21st and 22nd. And we can see in that date range, we had Hillary Clinton at 56% in the polls in Iowa and Sanders was just at 31%. So you can see the kind of change that you can still get in the months leading up to Iowa. So we go to what actually happened and Sanders picked up 49.6% of the vote. Clinton picked up 49.8%. So essentially a dead heat tie. 
So the difference between what the polls were saying at this same point in time in the prior primary season, Sanders did about 18 percentage points better than what the polls had him at, while Clinton did around six or seven percentage points worse. So if you're not a Buttigieg supporter in particular, don't freak out at this particular point in time because things can clearly change in the coming months. And we've actually seen a lot of change in Iowa over the past three or so months where Biden was the clear front runner. Then we had Elizabeth Warren be the clear front runner for a while. Now it is Pete Buttigieg. And we have a similar amount of time before we get to that first caucus result. So we can still see quite a bit of shifting. But if you're in the Pete Buttigieg camp, you have to be very pleased with how things are going in Iowa. And if you're the other three front runners being Warren Sanders or Biden, it might be time where you stop treating Buttigieg with kid gloves and maybe go after him a bit if you're going to try to go out, go ahead and win the very important key state of Iowa. So that's the discussion I wanted to do here today, just kind of diving in and seeing how things are trending right now in what's arguably the most important state that we have during this process. So I appreciate you guys stopping by. Consider subscribing to the YouTube channel and I hope to see you guys back here for my next video.